Okay, our next comedian is a very funny lady by the name of Erica, what? Speaker? Spira, Erica Spira. Oh, Erica Spira! From Bellingtown, New York, Erica Spira. Oh, man, hello. Oh. This is awesome. Wow. You guys. You guys are a pretty good looking crowd. This is fun, hey. Oh man, I hate to start this way. I have a little bit of bad news. Uh, I recently found out that I'm not a sweet person. Uh, I knew, I just didn't know everyone else knew. Uh, I was in my hometown from a very small town. Everyone knows my parents. And everyone I run into is always like, Erica, your mother is just the sweetest, just nicest lady and you remind me so much of your father. <laughs> you even sound just like him. <laughs> I, uh, I work in the office during the day and uh, we got this new intern. Uh, I gotta be honest, I don't really like her, but I have a good reason, okay? Her first day she went around meeting everyone, so I stood up and I shook her hand, hello. I said, hi, I'm Erica, it's nice to meet you. And she was like, woo, you have kind of a manly handshake. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, that's why I make more money than you. <laughs> oh, you guys have heard the news? Okay. I uh, recently heard this guy talking about feminism, which is always fun. Uh, he said, and I quote, he said, well, here's the thing. He didn't understand why women are feminists, right? Crazy. To quote him, he literally said, I just don't understand why you guys want to be equal so badly. <laughs> and I was like, well, I can't speak for everybody, but personally, for me, I just want more money. <laughs> That's, right? That's the selling point. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like if I made more money, like I wouldn't care about catcalling. <laughs> I'd probably like it. Because <laughs> if I was rich and someone was like, hey, Ma, you look great, I'd be like, thanks, man. I got a personal trainer now. <laughs> so, yeah, doing pretty well. <laughs> I, uh, I grew up with an older brother, and my parents were actually great. They let me do, like, whatever he did. Uh, so when he was trying out for football, I wanted to, and they let me but I wasn't allowed to play, not because I was a girl, but because I was above the height limit. <laughs> and the weight limit. <laughs> I was like, that's insane. I don't know what coach was just like, well, she's too tall to play, but we should still weigh her. <laughs> so get on that scale. You want to be an equal, get up there. <laughs> The, uh, the only time I felt held back for being a woman was one time my father caught me on the phone asking out a boy. And he pulled me aside and he was like, you, you can't ask boys out. Like you have to wait for them to ask you out. So I listened, took his advice. He haven't had a boyfriend since, so. <laughs> I was like, thanks dad. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. <laughs> I, uh, I actually have gotten like flowers sent to me at work a couple times, uh, and I'm not bragging because I hate it every time, because they are always from my dad. Just <laughs> every single one. It just like invites your office into your life in like a weird way, you know? Everyone walks by your desk like, whoa. Mm. Who's the lucky guy? <laughs> And I'm like, uh, my father. <laughs> and then they give you that look like, woo, again? <laughs> it's like the third time this year. It's like, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I uh, think he loves me. <laughs> he hasn't said it yet, but like, I think he's gonna say it really soon. It's getting serious. <laughs> 
my, uh, my sister actually just broke up with her first boyfriend ever, and I was talking to her about it, and she was like, I don't know, Erica, I'm just, I'm kind of lonely. I was like, lonely? You're 18. <laughs> You're a freshman in college. You just joined a sorority. How are you lonely? <laughs> and she was like, oh, I don't have anyone to text. <laughs> literally, Erica, literally, all my friends are texting someone right now. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, just text mom. <laughs> She'll always text you back. <laughs> just change your name to Brian. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> she could beat all her friends. They'll be like, hey, Joe might come over later. She'll be like, yeah, well, Brian loves me. <laughs> That's it's crazy. <laughs> oh, got another text from Brian. He wants to make sure I got home safe. <laughs> also, I have a doctor's appointment on the 12th. What a guy. <laughs> Full package. Uh, I don't know if you can tell but what I've, about what I've said about my parents, but uh, I am Italian. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I look like I could be like a lot of different races though, you know? Uh, and I'm used to it, but now I'm like too used to it. Like once an Egyptian guy asked me out and instead of giving him an answer, I just was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not Egyptian. <laughs> and he was like, no, I love Spanish girls. <laughs> and then I didn't correct him. <laughs> I was like, see, sí. <laughs> Vamos? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I was like, I would rather be Spanish than single, so <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. my, uh, my friend asked me the other day what my number was, and I played basketball in college, so I thought she just meant like my jersey number. <laughs> Uh, not what she meant. She meant the number of people I slept with. <laughs> so I said, 23. <laughs> and she was like, whoa, that's pretty high. I was like, um, actually for a forward, that's really low. <laughs> that's... I was like, no, oh, <laughs> oh, thank you. I told her, I was like, you know, I mean, my dad's number is 23, so. <laughs> I just really wanted to be like him, you know? <laughs> Everyone said he was really good, so. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but statistically, as a woman, the better you are at basketball, the more people think you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. I had a lot of female fans, so, uh, so great. <laughs> To this day, I still get hit on by more women than men. Uh, and the thing I find interesting is every time I'm like, you know, I'm flattered, but I'm not gay. And they're like, oh, well, if you switch teams, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> and it's like, seriously? You guys don't have tryouts? <laughs> it's like, I could just walk on like I'm here. <laughs> I got my flannel, <laughs> I'm ready to go. All right, you guys have been so fun. Thank you so much.